video you will see my third set of solo circuits so this is kind of completing my initial solo hours in the circuit you have to do two hours of circuit flying before you kind of move on to navigation then solo nav and then ultimately um, solo cross country and then hopefully if all goes well and you're doing your ground school exams you move on to the final exam so things are moving ahead but in this video you'll see my circuits of Gloucester Airport again solo uh, they went okay um, I, I wasn't doing a very good job of being verbose as to some of the steps I was doing so we'll try and do a little bit of voiceover in the first circuit just to kind of reconfirm what's happening um, the weather was actually quite calm to start with um, when I did um, the couple of circuits on my instructor but then it got a little bit windy a slight bit of crosswind um, as my circuits went on and it kind of got quite busy in the circuit so it was quite blustery um, landing with the crosswind some rotors over the buildings as well so not 100% happy with all the landings I did but they're all safe uh, I was safe the plane was safe um, but definitely not my best ones but good to get a bit of crosswind experience and again in the circuit was busy I had to do some uh, left hand orbits and stuff for a while as well but hope it helps I uh, hope it's still of interest for you that uh, are obviously interested in learning to fly as well seeing what some of the solo stuff looks like there'll be more videos to come when I do my solo nav and then solo cross country but uh, yeah enjoy any questions please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll get back to you but uh, yeah please consider subscribing and liking the video and uh, enjoy the video and I'll catch you in the next one bye for now What's the tower, Student Golf, Bravo Hotel, Charlie Charlie at Sky Park, QFE 1023, requesting taxi for circuits. Golf, Bravo Hotel, Charlie Charlie, Golf, the tower, taxi point Echo 1, across runway 27. Uh, taxi Echo 1, across runway 27, Golf, Charlie Charlie. Okay, so you just heard me talk to tower to get approval to taxi for takeoff. Didn't have to go through all the details like you normally do, because I'd already been out once, I literally just landed and dropped off my instructor, so I already... Um, a, had some communications with Tower already, uh, listening to the ATIS and everything, so just kind of getting confirmed and clearance to head off uh, and get ready for takeoff. Student Golf Charlie Charlie at Echo One ready for departure. November 6th, Delta Tango, contact roster approach 128 decimal sign five five. Hello, approach 128 decimal sign five five, November 6th, Delta Tango. Student Golf Charlie Charlie, right hand circuits, runway 22, clear for takeoff with 27011. Right hand circuits, runway 22, clear for takeoff, Golf Charlie Charlie. Okay, so just been cleared for takeoff, so now we approach runway 22 and then just start to throttle up, giving a little bit of right rudder to kind of compensate for the propeller kind of giving us a pull over to the left and into the climb ready for the circuit so we climb up to uh, around 700 to 800 feet before then turning crosswind uh, to kind of make a start on this circuit Alive. You can see things a little bit buffety when you take off from 22 oh, no, or 22. Um, it is over some hills, so you do get um, some wind off the hills, which again gives you a little bit of turbulence. So even though the day looks quite clear, um, it is quite turbulent air up there. Not kind of mega, but uh, a little bit, uh, a bit wobbly, I would say. Turn to the north runway 22 clear for takeoff in 27010. 
Okay, quick little look out before I'm turning right to go crosswind in the circuit here. Again, still continuing into the climb uh, to get up to a thousand feet, which is the circuit height here at Gloucester. Okay, so again here, I'm just checking the rear of the plane to see where we are in terms of the runway for the circuit, getting ready, have a little look around before turning onto the downwind leg of the circuit. Golf Charlie Charlie, downwind 2 2, touch and go. Okay, so you don't beat a downwind call in until your plane has gone kind of past the other end of the runway and you know you're kind of properly on the downwind leg. Uh, good chance you've got to be seen by the tower when you make your downwind call. As you just heard there, I'm just going to touch and go. Then we need to start doing our kind of pre-lander preparation checks. So there is a mnemonic for this um, called Bumthitch. Um, and basically the following things are being done here. Uh, as I fly along. So first thing, I open up, the, open up the carb heat, make sure that's all working well. Testing the brakes, make sure the brakes are functional and free. Making sure the undercarriage is down and locked. On the Cessna 172, obviously it's a fixed uh, undercarriage, so that's all good. Checks the mixtures are still rich. Checking that the master switch is still on. Uh, and if appropriate, if you had a plane with propeller pitch, you would check that as well, but we don't have that on the Cessna 172. We check that the fuel so is sufficient for go around and any issues, also making sure it's on the appropriate tank. So here I'm just checking that fuel is still on both tanks and is sufficient. Also checking the flaps are in the required position at this stage of the leg. So don't need to slow down or anything, so still um, haven't lowered any flaps. Uh, also then check your instruments as well to make sure that the compass and DI are aligned. I also then um, turn on uh, landing lights as well at this stage make sure they're all on check our temperatures and pressures are still all in the green then close the carb heat and then just make sure that uh, all the doors windows hatches and harnesses are all good and then we can continue on downwind to get ready to turn base and base okay so if we turn base we put the carb heat in because we're going to start to reduce the throttle and pitch back so we can get to flat limiting speed so as we once we completed the turn onto base we will raise the nose whilst we are put in a 20 degree of flaps in this instant to kind of decelerate the plane but also have enough lift um, at lower speeds Okay, so now we just check the approach is clear. We don't want to kind of try and line up for final if there's incoming traffic. You hopefully would hear this on the radio anyway, but just a quick look uh, before you turn, just to make sure you can just check peripheral vision and you'd be absolutely fine. Then once we turn on to final, we want to do our crap checks. So car peat uh, will need to go away as we get to about 300 feet. Um, make sure the runway is clear. Uh, make sure our approach is stable and then just confirm that we have permission to land. So we're all good uh, as we turn on to base here and just go ahead and do our landing. And basically we just rinse and repeat this for all the circuits until we finally come in 
to land. Touch and go, got runway two two, student golf Charlie Charlie.
Roll for Bravo, Papa Roger, report your position. Uh, we're at uh, Skyhawk. Roll for Bravo, Papa Roger, give way to the Cessna from Sky Park, and then taxi holding point Echo 1, cross runway 273. Give way to the Cessna, then Echo 1, crossing 273, cross Bravo, Papa. Roll for Bravo, Papa, have you clearance when you're ready to copy? Ready to copy now, cross Bravo, Papa. Roll to Tango, Bravo, Papa, hold at Echo 1 after departure, on track Badim, climb fog level 70. Remain outside controlled airspace, squawk 7773. Next frequency will be lost to approach 128.555. So, Gulf Tango Bravo, Papa is the whole position at Echo 1, then it's a left turn on track Badim, flight level 70. Remaining outside, flight level uh, correction, squawk 7773, next frequency 128.555. Bravo, Papa, uh, Roger, report rate to departure. Okay, go for it. Continue approach one and switch and go ahead. Continue approach, Gulf Delta Juliet. Gulf Delta Juliet, runway 22, clear touch and go, wind 29010. Clear touch and go, Gulf Delta Juliet. Gulf Delta Juliet, are you ready? Golf, Charlie, Charlie, final 22, touch and go. Student Golf, Charlie, Charlie, runway 22, clear touch and go, wind 29010. Clear touch and go, runway 22, Golf, Charlie, Charlie.
Twelve zero, Juliet. Contact one to approach one two eight decimal five five five. A final two two to land at Student Gulf Hotel Charlie Charlie. Uh, Roger, continue your approach, Gulf Charlie Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, uh, runway 22, clear to land, wind 280, wind. to Sky Park. Go Hotel Charlie Charlie.